Good evening and welcome to my end of the week recap here for the S&P 500 and plan ahead for next week. <clears throat> Thursday I was able to close out my 279 calls here uh, on that initial gap up uh, in at 31 out at 55. Good little trade there <clears throat> and for my previous video I was looking for a support level around this 21 EMA at 275. Um, did not actually take a position in that trade. However, the guys in the trade crew chat room took an amazing trade and had a hell of a hell of a profitable day on that on that position. Um, the only thing I did take was um, a speculation play in some 17 August 300 calls at 11 cents. This is more of an experiment to see uh, if a little something I'm working on will actually play out. If it doesn't, whatever. It's not a huge position, but just something that's uh, that may work out. Now to my trade plan for Monday. What are we looking for is pri if price action breaks above this 8 EMA and reclaims it with some significant volume, good move up. I will take 280, uh, excuse me, 278 calls approximately two weeks out in the future. I want to draw a quick line on here that kind of illustrates a broadening pattern uh, that's still forming. Uh, price action broke out below it, and if it reclaims it, it'll be back into that consolidation area and could be considered a false breakdown and rally up to about 280. There's a lot of call activity in the 280 to 283 strike, and I believe it was August. Um, my opinion is that it will continue higher. Um, if you follow in my older videos, I love to trade hammer candles, and today almost formed a very textbook-like uh, hammer candle. Great amount of volume here. Uh, confirms there's participant in the trade, and a very bullish hammer, so at least implies that the bulls are in charge, and we're probably going to continue higher. Level to watch here for the hammer to continue and be still be valid is this 276.70 area. Holding above that will be very productive and should continue higher. So an entry in this 278 call, my stop loss will be here uh, below this 276.5. If price action doesn't do that, I will look for support at entry here at the 21 EMA at 275 calls approximately two weeks out. And then down below there, if price action for some reason starts to fall down even further, I'll look for 271 calls at the 50 SMA approximately two weeks out in the future as well. Again, volume is very huge here on the daily time frame. Uh, one of the first significant volume days we've had in a long time since this uh, end of May candle where it did gap down. Very similar thing happened here today. Uh, Maybe a false breakdown for a rally higher just to uh, kill some options let the market makers do their thing, get into some calls, and you can see there's now a new trend line that is setting up. So there should be a decent little demand area that's setting up right in this region here. Maybe the market makers see that and participants that were buying versus that level, maybe they even push it down here and trigger out all these stops. If that does happen, I imagine we'll probably see the 50 SMA pretty quickly. So um, I will consider if this level breaks, taking puts down to the 50 SMA. Uh, but like I said a minute ago, there's still a lot of call activity out there, and they're not small lots that went through. So it's probably big money still betting on the S&P to go up. And below the 50 SMA is, of course, the 200 SMA. Uh, price action is still very bullish. You got the 8 above the 21, 21 above the 50, and the 50 above the 200. So down here at the 200 SMA, I'll also look at 267 calls approximately two weeks out in the future. For now, uh, that's my trade plan for the S&P 500. Just a quick recap, the W pattern is still valid. Just a simple pullback in a uh, very steep trend. Nothing wrong with this price action that's happening now. Still looking for the next consolidation level up here between 284 and a half, roughly to 286 and a half, 287 area uh, for some significant profit taking, maybe even a rally through all-time highs. Um, also still holding the August 295s and June 2019 325 calls. So we'll see what happens next week. Have a good weekend. If you have any questions or comments, again, please feel free to leave them down below and come join us in the Trade Crew chat room. Good luck.